Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP laptop. This is an HP EliteBook 840 G3 model. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop, tattooed right with a really hard to read engraving right on top. It says HP Elite 840 G3. Right. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. It is very easy to do. You can do it under like a two or three minutes or five minutes tops. I'm going to cover that in this video. If you want to know your, your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop, I'll leave a link in a video description where I made a video how you can find out without any programs your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop depending the version of the CPU gen that you have on your laptop motherboard. So check that link in the video descriptions and then you can come back here and upgrade. We have upgraded this one to a 28 gigs with no problem to a 16 gig. That's ideal for this office use. But if you want to go higher, check if yours is capable, you can do it. By upgrading your laptop and RAM, you're not going to change any mod. You're not going to do, you don't need to do any modification on the Windows or any configuration. It's pretty much plug and play type. All right. So I'm going to fix this rubber. All right, first thing first, you want to power off completely the laptop, just power it off. Then you want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. This is just a basic set that I purchased. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. I don't like using these other opening tools that they sell in the market. I don't like them. They're really sharp corners. I can even cut myself if I do hard. It's, they're actually sharp. I don't know why they call them opening tool. And I rather use these guitar picks. These are really, I cannot even cut myself, even triple the pressure. I can't, but they're really soft edges and they're really durable too. So use guitar pick instead of using that garbage opening tools. All right. Also, you need a needle. Just one simple needle. Or if you don't have a needle, you have a pointy tweezers, you can use a pointy tweez tweezers. Right. So what we're going to do on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see these uh, rubber covers in here, except this main one, you don't want to touch these main ones. But right in the corner, you can see a whole bunch of this one. You want to puncture to them, like a sideways, and then you want to lift them up. So you want to lift up these uh, rubber covers for the screw holes. Some of them, they already fell off. You probably have yours fell off, so if you don't put them, it's okay just for aesthetic look how it looks so remove all this rubber feet that they have on the screw holes if you have any sd card in here remove your sd card if you have any fake sd card tray remove the fake sd card because there's a screw right underneath all right now that we removed all the this, uh, screw head rubbers now we're going to grab our screwdriver and we're going to start unscrewing all the screws starting from our corner. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching, except one screw. So go ahead and remove this one under the SD card reader. This one is long, really skinny. So put that one onto one side. Now go ahead and remove the rest. The rest are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Don't forget about the screw in the middle of the case. Right. So the screw right in the middle, you want to remove that too. Once you remove that, you want to open, grab the open, is, uh, grab the guitar pick. You want to stick between the bottom cover and the cover right in here, right underneath, about two or three millimeters, and then you just want to peel it up. You want to hear some click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Once you got the back, the corner backs, then what you want to do, put your palms on the hinges, and then this one, bring them up like that. And then it will just release the bottom cover. Don't worry about this, it's just the Eternal has a little spring thing. You can clean it up, it's really dirty. All right, and down here, we can see the two rams in here. You do not need to disconnect the battery, absolutely not necessary, required to change the battery, but if you need to do RAM upgrade, as long as you power off, it's safe to touch and do anything you want to do, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, unless you think, you know, I'm going to drop this uh, screwdriver right over these components, 
then yeah, sure, go ahead and disconnect the battery. To disconnect it, you want to remove one screw right in here. This screw has a little spring, so it won't come in entirely. And remove this other screw right in there. And then you want to grab this flip thing in here. It's just glued, grab it, and bring it up. That way you can detach the connectors and you can release it. But to do RAM upgrade, you do not need to do this. So, but if you want to be extra cautious, go ahead and do it. But I never do it. Anyway, for the RAMs, the RAMs are right over here. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is put your fingers on these triggers in here, these metallic triggers, and you want to push them away from each other, just like this. And the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. All right, once it's in 45 degree angle, you want to grab it in 45, doesn't matter if you can touch the RAM, nothing will happen. Or I'm just grabbing it from the side so you guys can see. Grab it in a 45 degree angle and bring it towards yourself, if you're facing this way, towards yourself, towards this side. All right, and that's one. Same one for another one. Comes and pull it out. There's some garbage in here. All right, this is a four gig, and this one is a four gig, so a total, there's an eight gig. All right, so these are DDR4 RAMs, so there's an eight gig, and then four gig and four gig, you can grab an eight gig and an eight gig DDR4, and you can put them in here. First, make sure you put them one in, and then put them two. Now, let's say you got the new RAMs in, you can put the one in here. You have to make sure the notch on the RAM is a tiny notch. If you see this, the RAM sticks are dirty right in here. They, they can give you a blue screen of that or some crashes, so you might want to clean it to clean the RAMs. What you want to do, you want to put some isopropolic alcohol, 99%, 98% isopropolic alcohol, and then you want to just rub over, and then you want to clean it. Sometimes it takes some time to clean it, but I don't like that little mark in there. Sometimes what I do to clean these ones is, another way it's, just so I'm going to put this one in here. To clean it, I'll put, alcohol and I'll put baking soda right on top of the contacts. Just a spray doesn't matter. And then you start rubbing with your bare uh, with your finger the baking soda over the pads just like this. Don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna happen. Just keep rubbing it and you're gonna see that it will clean the pads. All right. Now that we rubbed it up, and look, now it looks nice and clean. Do both sides if you want to. And then you can wash it up and with an alcohol. And you can clean it up with a toothbrush to remove any baking soda on it. I mean, wash it up with an alcohol. I didn't mean to go literally wash it up with the water. Even you can do it with the water, but you have to leave it to dry and clean it with an alcohol. I'm gonna shake it off somewhere else, not on top of the computer, so you can see the RAM pins are sparkling clean, and there is a perfect contact in here. So what you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle. Make sure the cut, the cut on in here, matches the cut right on the dim, and you bring it down, and you want to slide it in 45 degree inside the connector, and then push it towards the motherboard. Same thing in here. Make sure it is clean. If it's not clean, just do a little rinse. Don't worry, people go crazy when I do this. They're like, oh, you're gonna kill a static discharge. You cannot kill them with a static discharge. I've been working for more than 20 years. There's nothing you can kill this RAM with unless you plug in a 12 volt battery or something. All right, so grab this one in 45 degree angle, plug it in there and push it towards the motherboard. All right. Now, once you put the RAM in and you power on, it might take up to 30 seconds to do any boot mem check, but if it doesn't show anything on the screen, power it off and switch the RAM space uh, location. They put the old one in here, the other one in here, or the vice versa, change them. Plug in the battery if you have unplugged it. All right. You, can, you don't need to put the bottom cover to test it. You can actually test it without putting the bottom cover. So. I'm gonna grab my charger. Always when you change the RAM, make sure you have the charger plugged in to do the RAM testing. So I'll plug in the charger and then I'm gonna power on and let's see if it does power on. This is a screw, it's kinda crooked. 
work it right in here. I don't know why. Go put this screw right in here. Work it. There you go. It's supposed to be like this. All right. So let's go ahead and power it on. It's powering on. I'll tap F10 to go to the BIOS. Oh, it's already giving this thing. And I'm inside the BIOS. System info. And I can see my 8 gig RAM right away here. Intel G3840 iCore 5 right there. And then you can power it off. And once it's powered off, now you can go ahead and put the bottom cover right over. All right. So grab the power, put it down, Let's push it down, make sure those tiny click sounds on the sides. All right, and put the single screw that goes right on the stick card reader, and then put the rest of the screw on the bottom cover. And to finish it off is put the rubber feet over the screws. Again, I hope you guys like this video and I helped you guys out to upgrade your RAM for your laptop uh, Elite G3 Model 840. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.